All right, first and foremost, I give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh, and I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai. It's Brother Chief Priest, Alas Arbaloy, aka the Gorilla Hebrew. Um, so, I was uh, checking out Power last night. Um, I had seen uh, 50 Cent promoting that Kendrick Lamar would be a special guest on this episode. So, I was excited to see um, Kendrick on the episode and uh, in the acting capacity and you know, I was interested in seeing what role he was going to play. I knew it was just, you know, a one-time appearance. So I was interested in what role he was going to play. Um, and he ended up playing like a crackhead, um, which is an entertaining crib. But most entertaining crackhead I've seen in a while. Um, somebody had compared it to Tyrone Biggums, and uh, uh, I, I would definitely say so. So uh, anyway, uh, in doing so, um, there was a, a part of the show that um, I, I realized what he was saying. And, um, you know, covertly. Uh, I picked up what he was putting down, so to speak. Damn. And um, I just wanted to play it, uh, just a quick clip. So like it is, um, had it paused too damn long. Let me just go right into it. I'm telling you, they want to make us a different race, man. But with the same, do your image. So what is he saying? He's telling these so-called Puerto Ricans, they've been telling us we're a different race, but we're the same. So, I mean, what he's covertly doing here is, is teaching the truth of the Bible, that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are one people, the nation of Israel, right? No, you're like, but guess what? They put us in a blender, we come out the same color. Pink like pussy, I promise you. Follow me a pussy now, this is, this is fucking crackhead, man. So you missing the whole point, and you sister too. And please, get it correct. So he said this Tower of Babel stuff. So what he's talking about in reference to the Tower of Babel is the separation of uh, tongues, right? Uh, that's why it was called Babel. He confused the languages. The Most High God confused the languages of the nations. That's why we have different languages now. So what he's saying is there's a language barrier, but what he's trying to tell them the truth. What is the truth? That we as blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, uh, above any and all language barriers, are one and the same people, man. All right? But the Most High God is bringing that together and using brothers like Kendrick, uh, as well as... Uh, us more, you know, blue collar brothers who was out there on the street corners week in and week out to teach this truth to our people, using us to reveal this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh which is a beautiful thing. Um, if you pay close attention, that's really what Kendrick was saying. Uh, and and it's all it's all uh, biblical prophecy. I'm gonna read this uh, here in Ezekiel 37. Uh, Let me start. Here at 20. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 21. It says, And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. That's who we are now, especially here in America and you know the various places we've been scattered. We're among these other people, whites, Asians, etc., Arabs. I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land, and will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them. That's who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, a black man, to them all, and they shall be no more two kingdoms. See, that's the thing. When Israel was in our land, we were split into two people. And during that time, it said that the northern kingdom began to, due to, um, you know, mingling with so many other nations, began to have distinguishable ethnic differences from the, what they call the southern kingdom. So you have the black tribes and, and the Latin tribes. And the uh, great diversity that you see of the Latin tribes is all talked about in biblical prophecy and biblical history. Um, there's something that happened damn near 3,000 years ago. So it says that they shall be no more two nations like we are now called black, called Hispanic, or called black and called Latino. And that's the point that Kendrick was covertly trying to Put out there, which is why you know it's beautiful when we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for um, putting his brother uh, Kendrick Lamar in the position that he's put him in, 
and being able to utilize him to get the truth out to a mass scale. Like it made, it made riffs and headlines when he said, um, I'm not a, I'm an Israelite, don't call me black no more. Just like when Kodak Black said, I'm an Israelite, my diamonds Israelites, when he, when he made that statement. Um, the level of uh, exposure that got for the truth of the Bible was, you know, monumental. People were now running up to us in the street. Oh, I heard Kendrick talking about this. I heard Kodak talking about this. Um, even a website had made a um, a, a, a short video on Kendrick and, and Kodak's awakening. And um, they even used clips of some various Hebrews like camps. Even one of my uh, clips when I was speaking in, in New York, they used one of that. And, you know, uh, it had over 5 million views. So millions of people are now getting exposed to this due to these brothers' contributions. So it's a beautiful thing that, you know, the Most High God is, is utilizing them in his, in his way. But like it says, it say, and they shall be no more two nations. We're not going to be divided as blacks and Latinos anymore. We're going to be back in our rightful place of whom we are, the Hebrew Israelites. Um, uh, and neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. There's going to be no more division, no more language barrier or any of that. Verse 23, neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. We ain't going to be worshiping white Jesus no more, worshiping a common stone, worshiping any of these idols anymore. Nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. We won't sin anymore. But I will save them out of their dwelling places. We're going to get saved out of these ghettos, man, out of these barrios, out of these third world countries. Wherein they have sinned and will cleanse my people so that they be my people and I will be their God. And that's what's coming, man, under who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai. So it was beautiful. I just wanted to do this quick video pointing that out. And again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And tell you blacks and Latinos, you power fans out there, to repent and come back to your true nationality as the Israelites. And uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and faith in who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, a black man. With that, we give all praise, honor, and glory again to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And say shalom.